Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to trace mobile number current location. But before we start, hurry up and check out our daily software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you trace a mobile number and its current location? Well, we first need to discuss some safety tips here. So make sure that you're using the services that we'll be giving you or the websites that we'll be uh, giving you to for in a responsive or responsible way. So if you're just looking for a way to locate your phone, well, in this case, I will be able to help you. In this case, what we need to do first here is we need to identify the methods that we could actually use. So I'll be showing you two methods, but it's kind of three methods here because I'll be showing you two websites and one app that you could use. So in this case, two or three methods here. So first things first is we, we will be vis visiting different websites for us to but basically uh, trace a mobile number. So in this case, let's go open up our browser here. And one of the websites that we recommend you to try using is going to be Spookio. Now, Spikeo is a platform which in this case, you'll be able to uh, reverse search or look up contact info, email addresses, phone numbers, and addresses. But in this case, you have the option to either use a name, email, or phone, or an address. In this case, if you want to choose phone here, you just need to enter the 10-digit phone number and just click on search now. But we just need to warn you that the option or Spokeo here is not a free uh, website or is not a, plea, a free platform. You need to pay for your services for you to, uh, for you to actually use or uh, basically utilize their tool here. Now in this case, go ahead and just enter the phone number here, click on search now, and from then on, if they ask you to uh, basically make a payment, you could go ahead, uh, get ahead and do that. But in this case, you might be looking for a free one. Well, in this case, there are there is actually a one website that is that they actually offer a free tool to search for phone numbers. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up another website, which is going to be whitepages.com. Now, the only downside here with White Pages is it only allows you to actually uh, search for contact information or phone numbers in the US. S, which is something really unfortunate but if you if you live in the US and you're looking like for example uh, you're looking for your phone or your information you could go ahead and do that in here so I just need to enter the uh, information for if you're, for example if you're searching for a person here or a phone number or an address you could go ahead and do that so for example you choose phone here you just en need to enter the phone number here just click on search and you should be able to see the details regarding that phone number now this is going to be a reverse phone lookup so in this case you'll be able to uh, view information uh, based on the phone number that you've entered in here now in this case what is the third method that we're talking about so in this case if you're just if for example you just want to prevent uh your phone or just in case in something in the future you lose access on your phone or you lose your phone and you want to look at it well in this case if you're using android you can actually use the uh, google find my device so we all know that uh, Google is a great uh, app platform out there or a great company they actually release a lot of uh, software uh, revolving around Google itself so in this case they actually have a Google find device now the great thing about Google find my device here is basically you just need to log in into your Android device here log into your Google account and once you've logged that in or once you've actually connected your Google account into your mobile phone, once you download Find My Device here, it's going to automatically detect that phone. In this case, let's go open up Google Find My Device here. And as you can see, I actually have one phone that is actually registered on my Google account here. In this case, let's go ahead and click on this uh, device here. And from here, you have our device settings. If you want to change the name on it, if you want to click on the, uh, the three dot icon here, you should be able to do that as well. In this case, uh, what are the other things that we could do here? So in this case, once you actually click one of the devices that you see here, so since this, this is the device that I'm currently using right now, it's not going to show you anything here. But if you want to change like settings on it, you should be able to change the details like device name and whatnot. So whatever uh, information or details that you should be able to change here. But again, if you're not, like for example, you're using another phone and you install this Find My Device or Google Find My Device, and you see your phone here, you can go ahead and just click on it and it's going to show you a map, which in this case is going to actually start ringing or start lo locating your phone. Now, in this case, this is only effective, like for example, if you have internet connection. Now, if you have like mobile data, you have it turned on uh, always, and uh, you're uh, basically... Uh, 
have it turned on. So as long as it has internet connection, you'll be able to start finding your device. But again, the only downside to this one is you first need to basically install the app and set it up first before you'll be able to utilize it. And it also is reliant to a white to internet connection. So yeah. So this is the tools that we actually uh, have or we actually offer you to start using or recommend you start using or try using. But uh, yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.